NOLA changes half their pack tonight for their big clash with their Eastern Conference rivals. Lots of fresh legs as Adams, O'Toole, May, and Ma'au join the lineup alongside the likes of longtime U.S. Eagle Cam Dolan in the second row. More changes and shifts in the back line as the halfback pair of Campbell and Ione will lead the show after Ione played 12 last weekend. Jackson Hope moves from fullback to the midfield. And former free jack Dougie Fife is at fullback. Head coach Corey Brown wants to put on a show tonight for the local fan base. He specifically sang the praise of New Orleans local William Wagespack. A big moment for him in front of the hometown crowd. No doubt about it. Scott Matthew and his side. Several changes for New England. New England also changes half their forward pack this week. DeWitt, Thebes, Fryer, and Captain Mitch Jacobson join the starting lineup to give their engine room a fresh boost in the hot, humid bayou of New Orleans. More change in the back line with Milan and Puderangi starting outside the electric. Reese McDonald in the 10 jersey. This is the big lineup change as their usual playmaker and last year's MVP, Jason Patras, is given a much needed rest this week. But it'll be fun to see McDonald get his hands on the ball a lot more tonight. Head coach Scott Mouthy goes with a 6 2 split on his bench. He goes at the 10, as you touched on in those lineups. Five key guys out, giving them some rest. So he gets the start as we're underway in this big time showdown here in the Eastern Conference. New England trying to wrap up the one seed. So a huge moment for New Orleans. We talked about not a great start with that penalty early on, but this is a great position to be in early in the game. Here's Campbell inside ball into the hands there of Jordan Jackson Hope. Got high praise from his coach. We talked to him about three hours ago. And Nola Cole, they get this one. They slip their way into the try zone. And they've got the lead here in the fifth minute. And what they do, that they'll definitely be missing him. And look at this. There's a break and a dive in. That's between the sticks. Jonah Mau puts it down. He's back in the lineup. He's been out the last four matches. Nola getting it free. Near that right post, they're pushed back a little. Now they got a little room to operate. Good ball there, and a ball out over the top, and an easy one. That one will go down. Tenyella Filimone. They do all the hard work up front. They do a great job in this mall. Cam Dolan takes a heavy hit there, hitting some of his forward teammates there, and then all of a sudden, what a pass that time over the top from ha from Harry Wheeler. That one just flicks over to that onrush look. Watch this, just a flick straight over wow. the top into space, straight in front. Great pass to Philomone. He doesn't have to do anything except seconds. really just fall forward. Campbell getting it free and back to Yona, and he says that's going to do it. We'll take this one in and we'll take. A 16-point lead for Nola Gold into the room here on top of New England. If Nola wins today, they lock up the two spot. New England would then, depending on whether it's four or five, would have either a two or three-point lead on them. And New England has Anthem at home next week. And New England gets another shot at it. Down by 16 here, knocking on the door. Trying to get their first try of the match is the top scoring side of the Eastern Conference. 406 points they scored coming into the match. And so he's in there, the arms in the air, and they get it down. Lesage and company, as they unpile the bodies in there, they get it down. And it's 19-8 now, the conversion kick coming here in the 47. Carry from him, Campbell goes deep. They're gonna opt to send it skyward here. New England, they can't handle it. Nola picks it up, and Nola's got it. They get it down. What a timely play there. Jordan Jackson, Hope. To that pocket, just blast this one up. And look at that, three New Orleans jerseys on scene. And that time there just gets a great bounce straight into the hands of Jackson Hope. Look at this, straight up into his hands. And you can see how excited they are. That is awesome. When your game plan works out like that and you talk about you're going to put kicks up and you're just going to go put pressure on. Illegal clean out with the shoulder. Degree of danger is high. No mitigation is going to be a red card. Oh, no. Almost as low as I could have been for us. No way. There's the outcome. Lawrence does not like it, obviously, but the red card is assessed to Tom Florence here. Giving them the notes on how to play in the midfield. 
But the timing looked a little bit off on McDonald coming around the corner, and that depth may have been a factor. Line out 6.7 meters away, courtesy of Sportable. New England, they pull it out of there, and they come to the near side, and they get it down in the 61st. Or do they? Frong out of here as we look back here, the throw from Ralph, and into the set they go, Mike. And you talked about that door being open for the Free Jacks, and they are just ramming right through it now yep. at this point. I mean, that's number 16 there, Sean just finding Ralph. space. That's Sean Ralph on the near side. And we talked about New Orleans in that first half, finding seams along the edge. Nola gets it. There's the ball to the back. There's the kick into the stands. And Nola Gold wins it 27-17. They will play at home in the 2024 MLR playoffs.